Hello YouTube watch lovers and welcome to this new episode on my watch review channel. So uh, you see that now we are all surrounded by Amigas. I never expected that I would have the two Seamaster, the two absolutely equivalent boxes here for you. Um, we never know where this hobby leads us and what would be the next find. But a friend of mine really wanted to get an experience with my Tech Hoya Carrera uh, 160th anniversary edition and uh, he proposed that I try out his Aquaterra. So exactly the same box, the same Amiga lacquered box, gorgeous box, have nothing against it, but they all come in pairs. I couldn't get just one, I had to get two of them at once here for myself. Gorgeous lacquered wooden box, gorgeous, gorgeous package. So once again comes with the operating manual, comes with the three cards, which is the international warranty, the pictograms and the master chronometer certificate and the watch is in there. But I have to start with telling you that my first experience with the Aquaterra World Time was in my local AD when I tried the watch and here you see the photographs of the watch on the braces. So 43 millimeter watch with very fine dial uh, on the braces. It just felt too big for me. Too big for me and I was slightly uncomfortable over the price that Amiga was asking for the watch. So I didn't pay anything for this one. So I didn't pay anything to try it on my wrist. And whereas the watch on the bracelet felt a little bit too big, a little bit too uncomfy, I, I just thought it just wouldn't work with me. A complex dial, too much on the dial, uh, big on the bracelet. So I had an opportunity to try the watch now on the rubber strap. And you know what? I didn't expect it to feel so good on the, on the rubber strap. So once again, probably some of the best shots on myself wiggling my wrist with the watch on the wrist. This is actually very, very comfortable. Now I'll try to explain to you why it was a GM, why it is a GMT watch. You obviously know that the world time I would have uh, 24 time zones around the world and the major cities, the names of the major cities are all here on the dial, on the dial of the watch. It is busy, it is busy, but I think it is very well designed and very well proportioned and feels very good on my wrist. I, I am surprised that a watch um, that big, so 43 millimeters, I would be scared and would be running away from, from such big watches, but it actually looks pretty pretty good on my 18 centimeter circumference wrist and it really passed uh, the test. It passed the uh, staying on the wrist, being on the wrist, uh, spending a couple of days with the watch. It was, it was a total pleasure, I have to say. And even the complication, the ability to see which part of the world is uh, un, is during is in daytime and which part of the world is at night it's a very interesting interesting complication which I actually quite enjoyed myself which I actually quite enjoyed so why is this watch said to be a GM key because it doesn't have the second hour hand it doesn't have a 24 hour hand so it is in the way so I will unscrew the crown first. So this watch has 150 meters water resistance, which is quite a, quite a lot for for this watch. So in well, in the first position, you can see that the hour hand starts jumping one backwards 
one hour and in in the time of dating position so now everything starts moving around so now you can see that the 24 hour time zone uh, the 24 hour disk is also rotating so now is almost almost 1 p.m. 12.57 so I will set it up properly 12.57 okay uh, so um, the hour hand jumps in one hour increment so this makes it uh, quite easy to set up the local time the date is quite hard to set up as on most GM key watches so you need to spend forever setting up the correct date and well otherwise otherwise the watch is very nice it's very useful it's very good on the hand so here is this uh, arabesque Geneva Geneva coating on the on the movement which is which is very nice I like I like Omegas and the movements that they produce and this is this is a surprisingly comfortable and good watch so let us quickly go through the dimensions so the case size 43 millimeters doesn't seem that big it doesn't seem that big it doesn't it doesn't really well it almost equals in size the 42 millimeter uh, Seamaster uh, so the same the same kind of logs some some more uh, in, well integration of the of the bracelet integration of the strap with it with the actual keys here on the on the keys of the Aquaterra uh, I I am actually quite enjoying I'm quite enjoying the strap I I have to say I don't know what would be my my impression of the bracelet but the bracelet for the Aquaterra actually tapers which is a good sign from Amiga maybe maybe we'll see some tapering bracelets and the tapering bracelet for the Seamaster in the new generation of the watch so the case size 43 millimeters lock to lock is 49 maybe extending to to 50 millimeters so it's not it's not a particularly such a huge watch from from the lock to lock distance so case widths so how high does the case sit on the wrist is 14.3 millimeters so it's not it's not too uncomfortable or too ungainly on my wrist and uh, the movement here is the Amiga Coaxial uh, 8938 movement so this is the double barrel this is the over 65 hours of power reserve this is this is a very good a very good Omega movement and I'm starting to get really really accustomed to the Omega Omega watches Omega movements amazing just really good so uh, what is the MSRP of these watches well MSRP is pretty high on the bracelet it's 7,600 sorry 7,750 British pounds uh, or 7,600 pounds on the rubber strap but I would I would warn you immediately that uh, you can buy these watches from good deals on Chrono 24 for about 6,500 6,550 pounds from private from private sellers and I bought my previous Seamaster uh, a professional diver 300 meters from a private seller and and, and 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 there is no problem with you getting getting a very good watch from 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 a private seller so here is uh, the world time nice complication I really I really found it quick 
to find the time wherever I want to know on the globe. Very nice uh, laser ablated uh, world map here in the center of the watch and everything revolves around this world map. Well, I, I actually pretty much like this watch. I like the way it sits on the wrist. I like the way it reflects the lights. I like, I like this additional information that I can get from this dial without, without, without any real effort. Um, a nice watch. Need to consider myself probably probably just too many watches now in my collection really was very interesting to get it on my wrist to wear it for a couple of days but probably want to get my Carrera back probably want to get my Carrera back but but a very nice Omega and with the good deals that can be done with the price of the watches well the gray market corrects the prices of the swatches and probably probably the private sellers the private sellers you can get you can get a very good deal for the aquaterra world time gmt watch um, gorgeous dial can get my eyes away from this laser ablated world map really 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 good watch really left a very good impression on me and yeah it's always it's always the price and do we want that additional information do we want do we want to pay for the world timer um, this money on top of the cost of the watch but Amegas have very good movements have are very good watches and well I I really don't have many negatives for the for this world timer maybe we'll have to get it for myself okay guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it so please like and subscribe to my channel and maybe I will get you some more Amigas and maybe some other great watches here for review on my channel thanks for watching bye